Back to the channel. If CapCut on your PC is taking up too much space, I'll show you how to delete the cache files in just a few easy steps. Let's get started. Step 1. Open the CapCut Desktop app. Step 2. Click on the settings icon in the top right corner. Step 3. Now click on settings from the drop down menu. Step 4. In the settings menu, go to the cache section. Step 5. Here you can see the cache file size and how much space it's using on your computer. Step 6. Click delete or clear cache to remove those files. That's it. CapCut will run smoother and your PC will have more free space. CapCut running slow or using too much space. Let's clean up the cache safely. Today I'll show you how to delete CapCut cache files manually on PC and what not to delete. First open File Explorer and go to this PC. Now open Local Disk C. Go to Users then click your Windows username folder. Click the View tab on top and make sure hidden items are checked. Now open App Data, then Local, then CapCut, then User Data. After that, open folders like Cache, Preview Cache, and delete only the files inside those. Never delete the entire User Data folder. Doing this can remove your saved projects, editing history, and might even cause CapCut to crash or not start at all. Only clear cache, not your settings or project files. That's it, you've safely cleared your CapCut cache and freed up space. Smooth editing ahead. Is your CapCut lagging even on a decent PC? Don't worry, today I'll show you three quick settings that'll fix it fast and make your editing super smooth. Let's dive right in. Number one, turn on hardware acceleration. First, we'll enable CapCut's hardware acceleration for smoother performance. Just go to the menu bar, click on settings, then go to the performance tab. Here you'll see options for hardware encoding and hardware decoding. Make sure to check both boxes. Also, enable the option load interface smoothly. Once done, click save. This small step boosts your CapCut speed, especially on mid or high-end PCs. Number two, enable proxy files. Next, turn on proxy files for lag-free editing. When you import a large video, like HD or 4K, CapCut lets you enable proxy. These are low-resolution copies that play smoother in the timeline. But don't worry, your final export will still be full HD or 4K as you select it. Number three. Modify Proxy Resolution Now, let's take it one step further. You can customize the proxy resolution for better performance. Go to Modify Greater Than Performance, Greater Than Proxy Settings, and choose a lower resolution like 720p or 540p, then save the setting for even faster preview. And that's it for today's PixPal AI tip. No more CapCut lag. Just make sure you apply these three settings. If you've got any questions, comment below. I'll reply or even make a new video to help out. If you found this helpful, give it a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you